So the song itself is about a relationship, obviously, a kind of wandering soul in the wind and a kind of more grounded, rooted woman in the flower. And it's interesting, I, I mentioned that this wasn't based off of a true story. It wasn't really based off of anything. But uh, with just enough time passing my own life, uh, there's a significant period of my time where I felt more like a drifter, a wanderer, a um, the wind. So when I came and revisited this uh, song to release it and prep for the music video, it was just really interesting because I'm looking at these characters going, wow, I relate way more to the wind than I did when I wrote it. Uh, so kind of an interesting, not self-fulfilling prophecy, but I don't know. I don't know if there's something intrinsic there that decided to just, you know, show my deeper self through words that I didn't realize yet. So the subconscious was writing. I don't know. I just, it was, it's an interesting thing to think about and consider that, uh, I relate to the song way more years down the road. And I think that's a really cool thing about music in general. Uh, like the songs that you listen to as a kid can have a totally different impact than uh, they did when you were a kid. Like um, just depending on the season that you're in, um, like perhaps you relate more to the redemption part of this song or perhaps you relate more to the, um, the heartbreak or the isolation, the distance. I just think that's so cool that you can bring your own story and journey to a song and walk away with something completely different than its intent um, or just relate to it in a new way. So I wasn't expecting to experience that as an actual songwriter. I'm kind of amazed and encouraged and uh, excited to see what life kind of comes out of these songs and uh, with the other ones that I plan on releasing. Uh, but yeah, that was just a, a really cool thing.